You're watching Backyard Tech. I am in no way, shape or form a fully qualified mechanic. Therefore, if you are following along with this service repair and or information video, you are doing this at your own risk. So you have been warned. What was it? Last week, Old Mate uploaded a video here at Backyard Tech for a viewer regarding converting their 1FZF, four and a half litre six cylinder petrol carburetor 80 series Land Cruiser into as close as you're going to get to a factory 1FZFE, four and a half litre six cylinder fuel injected 80 series Land Cruiser. Whether that was getting a factory rebuild or an aftermarket EFI kit fitted. Two comments arose from that video, and I want to respond to both of them this morning. One of the best four wheel drives ever made. Here at Backyard Tech, it's 80 series time. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is 80 series time here at Backyard Tech for a Thursday, and I want to respond to a couple of comments that were made from last week's video. Now, one got published, one didn't. And so I thought, well, I'll kill two birds with one stone uh, in this video. Um, we'll go out to the 80 shortly, and I'll show you a couple of things. But first off, a comment that I'm not publishing because of multiple four letter word combinations and language. Essentially, the crux of the comment was, hey, F-Tard, with a high-performance engine, why aren't you putting a pod filter on it? Now, either this viewer is completely IQ negative, which means they are dumber than me, or they've been watching too many 1FZFE videos here on YouTube being put into cars and having the, the absolute living you-know-what tuned out of the engine. Um... To start off with, that viewer, your comment's not being published. And second off, I don't have a high-performance engine. I, I normally don't howl on people, okay? It's not in my nature. After all, I know what it's like to get howled on here. Um, but I'm going to howl on this person because they are clearly idiotic. Um, my engine is stock. It is a, it's a low slugging, high torque petrol engine. And yes, it does have a whistle about it. But if you know anything about the 1FZFE engine, you know that yes, it does sound like it might have a turbo. I do not have a turbo. And secondly, having spoken to some mechanics with a combined experience of 200 years plus, you dim-witted half-wit. Um, they're of the same ilk as me. I don't need a pod filter. I know why people put them on. Uh, it is of no advantage to me. And if you think that engine's a high-performance motor, you've been watching too many YouTube videos on people making modifications to 1FZFE and throwing them in like 1980s Supras or whatever. You know, like, you know, get a super with a 2JZ engine in it, rip the 2JZ out and drop in a 1FZFE. So, no. Sorry, mate. No pod filter. Um, <laughs> freaking idiot. The second comment, which did get published, was oil blow-by and catch cans. Now, late model diesel owners, you'll be well aware of these, and a lot of people say they're very good. I have a petrol 80 series. If I had one of the diesels, okay, even the older direct injection diesels like a 1HZ, 1HDT, okay, I would consider an oil catch can. Consider, as well as obviously blow by, you've got to be worried about both. It's not so problematic with me and my 80 series. In fact, it's almost, you could almost get away with saying it's negligible. Almost get away with saying it's negligible. All right. Um, 
I don't really need to worry about it. In fact, some people would say I don't need to worry about it at all. And that's probably a val valid... Bleh. Been a while. Rewind reality. Take two. Some people would say it's not a valid reason to put an oil catch can considering I'm running a petrol engine, which is a valid argument. Um... So I don't really need to worry about it. I mean, look, if I had to, I'll show you where I'd put the oil catch can if, I, if, if need be. Blow by another thing. I mean, my engine's in good nick. So again, it's not something I've really got to worry about. However, if it was a 1HZ, a 1HZ with an aftermarket turbo, Garrett probably. In fact, if I, did, if I was going to get a turbo for my car, it'd be a Garrett. Right? That's, I, I wouldn't look at anything else. But if I had a 1HZ or 1HDT or maybe even a 1HD FT, FT, yes, I would probably put an oil catch can or a um, something in, in, in it to prevent oil flowing back. I mean, it, the older diesels don't necessarily have to worry about it, okay? The newer diesels um, out of like Toyota... Ford, Nissan, um, who am I missing? Toyota, Ford, Nissan, um, Isuzu, uh, Mazda, so on and so forth, right? With all the new emissions control systems and DPF tanks and that. And I know a lot of people with, I think, I've, I'm not sure about the new patrol, but I know with the big, 200 v8s a lot of people are putting all catch cans through their systems and blow by so with diesel yes um especially if you've got a 1hd or even a 1hd fte you'd probably worry about it with me it's not so not so much of a concern all right um let me grab the video camera the car keys and we'll go ahead to the 80. so with the pod filter which i don't like them Unless, I mean, look, if you're into, you know, performance cars and, and you know, show and shines, yes, they might look good. But for me, they're impractical. And also, you know, once I get back on my feet financially and start getting things done, you know, if I put a pod filter on this and then decide to put a snorkel on it, I've got to do some modifications. Forget about it. Okay, as I said, I don't need to worry about um, oil catch cans and, and um, blow-by because, all right, blow-by I've probably got to be a little more cautious of, but an oil catch can, the only place I would put it would be somewhere on those two breather hoses. All right, that'd be about the only place I'd put it. All right. If I was going to put one in at all, I'm not putting one in, so I don't really need to worry about it. Okay, it's not it's not a a major problem for me per se. So, I mean, uh, some people will sit there and say, "But old mate, you know, it'll help your engine out." Well, it may, it may not. So, I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to sit there and say, yeah, okay, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll put one in for the sake of putting one in. That, I may as well do that with a pod filter. You know, I may as well go and get one of those K&H pod filters. Again, it's not going to do anything. And so, you know, blow by, yeah, I've probably got to, I, I probably should look under the, under the rocker cover and see whether I do have any, although being a petrol motor, probably... Not as much as you would get, say, with a diesel, all right? But as far as an oil catch can is concerned, there, is, there really isn't a lot of point, all right? There really isn't. So I just wanted to make that follow-up video because um, it doesn't really... I mean, the thing with a petrol engine is, and, and you know, a lot of people... A lot of petrol 80 owners do cop a little bit of flack from the hardcore diesel owners because they sit there and say, well, you know, I, can, I can't, you can't go everywhere I can go. 
which is utter garbage. It, us petrol owners can go everywhere a diesel will go. But as I always say, we can go everywhere a diesel will go. We'll just use a lot more fuel doing it. All right? So there we go. So basically, I'd put the oil catch can system in there somewhere between those two blow bys. All right? Probably on that one there. But a pod filter. There's really not much point. And secondly, with that damn mass block there, all right, that makes it even more tedious. All right, so I really, I don't, I don't, I got CBF. And secondly, if I'm really honest with you guys, which I always am, I don't like pod filters. Period. Full stop. End of discussion. Um, I know why some people put them on. They look good. They think they make a vastly improved, you know, airflow and all this type of garbage. Um, from the outset, I don't. I think they're just... They're good for show and shine, and that's about it, frankly. They make your engine look good, but eh, no. Not, not... Just no, for me, okay? So there we are. Bit of an 80 series video for you for Thursday. Have a good one.